You're watching Conspiracy Chronicles. I'm Maya. And I'm Kyron. And today we're talking all about aliens, Area 51, Mandela effects, conspiracy theories, about all those. So we're going to start off with Area 51 and the rumors of there being aliens. Now, okay, my thing is, I've always known, well, everybody knows that something funky is going on with Area 51. You've yes. all heard the rumors, the conspiracies about there being aliens, UFOs, whatever. Where did this come from? Well, it started in 1989 with, uh, with an interview from someone who actually worked there. Um, they said that there were rooms where the aliens were being like tested and there were UFOs inside the facility and that uh, the military was trying to recreate it. Um, people said that this guy was crazy. Um, I can kind of see where, where they're coming from, but if you saw this in a facility, I mean, wouldn't you go crazy? I mean, I, okay, that, I wouldn't know if I believed the guy, but the U.S., okay, the U.S., like, Army, whatever, like, they didn't officially acknowledge the existence of Area 1, like, until 2013, which I think is so weird for yeah. something that had been... It's been around for a while, for... Like, 1950s something like that. like this dude was working here like it's had to have yeah he's been working here since 1989 and see that's just something that makes me like it just it kind of creeps you out it just it what is the government hiding from us the people we want to know because i mean they there have been i've heard at least I, I i've seen them i mean i've clicked on like there's officially there's supposedly documents back from the CIA mm -hmm. of there being UFOs and aliens and that sort of thing. I cannot find those anywhere though. I've looked up and down, I've looked for sources that I've seen before. Oh, they're, they're not there anymore. They're gone, which is really weird, which isn't what we're talking about today, but it's really it weird. They may, may have been wiped. But that's just a theory. That that's just our that's just that's our, our little theory, that's yeah. our little theory that we got going on. But the existence of aliens in general, what do you think about that? Well, I definitely believe in aliens. Um, I think Area Fifty One has some. They probably have some crazy stuff going on there. Maybe not. Maybe not alien like testing rooms, but you know maybe like some UFO stuff. Like uh, I definitely believe that they're trying to recreate like the. Uh, like what a UFO would be like, or like advanced aircraft from space or something like that. I mean, I definitely think the government has some technology they don't know about. I don't know if necessarily go with alien foreign technology or yeah. like they're hiding alien bodies like some people. And apparently, <laughs> I've also heard there are like le leaked autopsy reports. I don't know if I necessarily believe in these leaked autopsy reports. Like, watch. I never meant to, I, okay, I believe if aliens were to come down to Earth to and visit us, I don't, uh, they, they'd be slick. They wouldn't, they wouldn't leave a trace, or I mean, okay, actually. Oh, yeah, see, you can't, you can't necessarily say that, because of I, I have, I have my own theory. And so, basically here, I'm just going on a tangent about how aliens built the pyramids. I believe it, you should. Which, which brings us to something, Mandela effects. Okay, Mandela effects. Okay, so the uh, theory is, is that maybe these aliens are messing with our simulation and kind of, and, and kind of just Interfering messing things with up. our timeline. Yeah. And that's the reason why so many people remember things that aren't necessarily true, like for example, We'll, do, we'll just take a, we'll just dive real quick into Baron Steen. Steen Bears. Yeah, Baron Steen. That. <laughs> Which apparently it's Baron Steen. But no one's ever said it like that ever. Um, so the, cur the, the incorrect spelling is B. B E R E N S T E I N. And the correct spelling is B E R A N S T A I N. Ooh. And you and you kind of ate that show up when you were little, right? That was it. Was definitely okay. I remember. I remember getting ready for bed, like getting real excited in my PJs. 
Yeah. Speaking of, we'll deep, we'll deep dive into PJs later. Oh, yeah. But it was always the Bernstein Bears. I had the books. I had like, I remember the theme song, Bernstein Bears. Mm -hmm. The Bernstein Bears. Like the end of it. Like it was Bernstein. It was. Never Bernstein. Um, I was just going to say another one that doesn't make sense to me is Jeff versus Jiffy. The, um, apparent. Yeah. It's always been Jiffy. Like anytime we talk about the peanut, I'm not a peanut butter gal, but anytime oh. someone's talking about it, it's Jiffy. When I was when I was younger, I would eat like a spoonful of peanut butter before bed. Horrible for you, don't do that. But I always remember being like, I'm going to go get some some peanut butter, and I would see Jiffy, and it was Jiffy because I remember all the colors and like um, you know how they would be switched and whatnot. There's no way it is. Just Jeff. I've always remembered it as Jiffy. And I mean, I thought, I, I thought like, okay, maybe Jiff is just an abbreviation for Jiffy, yeah. but apparently that's not even it. Yeah, but I was it, like, it's just Jiff. Yeah, and there's like commercials from back then from it just being Jiff, not Jiffy. Which is. Makes zero sense to me because like. It's insane. I don't know. I, I never ate peanut butter, so maybe I just didn't pay attention again, but. You know, and it's it's not even like the spelling. The most iconic line in all of cinema is Luke, I am your father. Like but I don't even watch Star Wars and it I've never happened. That. It's no I am your father, which is like no, because they actually make like dolls that say, Luke, I'm your father. See, that's what I think is so crazy. It's just like they're profiting off of this line. Like even I've like I I thought that I've heard the line or like I knew the line. I I, I don't watch Star Wars, but it never was said. Do you do you remember watching it? Yes. And, like hearing it? Uh yeah yeah when I was like uh ten or eleven, uh I watched the original trilogy. Granted, I didn't like it, but I watched it and it was Luke. I'm your father, and then I rewatched it when I was like maybe 14 and said, no, I am your father, so I'm like, that's not right. But nope. I looked up, there's like some original behind the scenes, and it was, no, I am your father. Even James Earl Jones, the voice of Darth Vader, he even said, he remembers saying, Luke, I am your father, but nope. It never happened. That's crazy. That's actually that crazy. even the actor who... Yeah. Supposedly said all this, remembers the line, but didn't say. See, okay, maybe this is some alien stuff. <laughs> Aliens, maybe crazy. they are messing with this here because what? And I remember talking about earlier, it's Curious George. <laughs> Curious George has no tail. No, no, because Kyra this feels one, very strong. This one makes me mad because when I was little, I was in preschool. I was waiting for my mom to pick me up. I was sitting like this. All, and then there's this episode, and I swear, I swear to, to everything, he was hanging on a tree by his tail. That's like some Spider-Man stuff. I remember seeing like, like a cannon. lunchbox of him like having a tail. Yes, the lunchbox. I remember because I would go through like aisles in the store, and there are so many lunchboxes of Curious George. It was always a yellow like lunchbox. He always had a tail. Always had a tail. And what kind of monkey? Well, doesn't have a tail. Well, apparently he's actually a chimp, so that explains why he doesn't have a tail. But yeah. uh, so he doesn't look like a chimp to me. No, he, he looks like a spider monkey. He's supposed to be a monkey. And he's a monkey. I don't know. I I never really watched Curious George growing up, so I didn't really pay attention. When they told me he didn't have a tail, I was like, oh, okay. But apparently some of you guys... Uh, Really feel strong about this. Jack Johnson and Curious one. George, yeah. One I feel very strong about is Febreze because Febreze should have two E's and apparently it doesn't. Febreze. It, it only has one E. Febreze. Does that sound right? No, it's Febreze. No. You cannot spell Febreze with one E. Like Febreze. Like. Febreze. It's, it's, it's spelled like breeze. Like, the, the, like, like the word breeze. Like is... a fresh breeze hitting you. No. No. Nope. They tried to be original with it and it, it, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even like the Mandela effect. We're just like, no, for Febreze, stop. You're not. Now, you're not okay, cool. Okay, maybe we're just Febreze haters. <laughs> yeah, right maybe now. Febreze haters. Um, um, you're a pretty big Pokemon fan, right? Oh, I'm a huge. Pokemon you want to talk fan. about Pikachu? Okay. Pikachu, for the longest time in my head, had the black, like, 
you know, black at the end of his tail. And apparently, I got a reality check a couple years ago that he didn't. And that was crazy for me too. The, uh, this must be an alternate reality because he does. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah. Because I was bloop. I was shocked. I, I was shocked. That is so wild. Cause, uh, cause I remember drawing. Like I wasn't like a huge Pokemon fan, but I liked it. And I remember tr trying to draw like a picture of Pikachu, and I. I put the little black, the little black thing at the end of his tail. Because everyone did, because that's what he had. Yeah, and it would make sense because you know, it just it works. It's Pikachu. Nope, actually, Pikachu doesn't have any of that. Oh, you know one that we forgot? Mm -hmm. Fruit of the Loom, but the cornucopia. Don't get me started on that one because <laughs> I had to ask my mom what a cornucopia was. Or, or, no, I had to ask her, like, what that was, and she was like, that's cornucopia. So you remember there being a cornucopia. So you remember there being a cornucopia. Yeah. I do, too. I remember looking at the back of my PJs, getting ready for bed, and be like, oh. What is that? Like, I, cause I, I couldn't comprehend what that was, yeah. but I, now I'm like, that's yeah. a cornucopia. That, there's always was a cornucopia, and it makes sense because it's like a little... It's it's a little arrangement of fruit and like oh, I don't know if there's veggies on it, but I know there's fruit and yeah. it just makes sense. And it looks incomplete without the cornucopia. It just doesn't look right. Maybe we all have like off brand <laughs> fruit. Yeah, up maybe we just said, yeah. <laughs> maybe with they're a, with them with a fruit. But seriously, I do remember there being a cornucopia. Oh, speaking about things that like aren't there, the the Monopoly man with the monocle. He has a monocle. He has a monocle because people. Like people to dress, dress up. up as a Monopoly man all the time for Monopoly. Halloween. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, they'll have their money bag, then they'll throw on a monocle. That completes. Like, you just gotta wear a monocle, and I'm thinking Monopoly man already. Yeah, and like on those Monopoly man machines that you would see, at, like when you'd go anywhere, they always had a monocle. And you played Monopoly a lot. I you know, I you know? love Monopoly. Yeah. Monopoly is my favorite board game, probably or sequence, but. That's for another topic. There's a monocle. There's no because people dress no, up as him. There's no arguing. There's a monocle. Um, yeah, the only explanation probably really is aliens. If I had to, yeah. If I had to put, if I had to pinpoint one source, yeah, this is starting to make even more with, sense as we're getting with, into the list. With the fruit of the loom thing in the in the Star Wars one, there is no way some fishy isn't going on here, man. I mean, there's even like crazier ones like like the Cheez-Its one what is the Cheez-Its one? I think it's uh, I think I may have this the wrong way but uh, I think it's just Cheez-It no, not Cheez-Its with a Z here I'll actually look that one up real quick okay. we, we, we can just cut this because uh, that one is actually crazy if it's true Original name of the product is Cheez It. Wait, what is the name of the product? Truly, if the name of the box is Cut and Cut, has always been Cheez It. It's not Cheez It's. Guys. Wait. It's, oh. it's not Cheez It's with, with a Z. It's just Cheez It. Which, would make, which doesn't make sense because Cheez is spelt with a Z on the, on the box. So why wouldn't it be Cheez It's? Everybody still calls it Cheez Its. It's Cheez Its. Like anytime we. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. There's, I eat Cheez Its all the time. It's Cheez Its. I've never seen. Hey, hand me a box of Cheez It. There's no way because looking. Because I'm looking at some of the images right now. I'll have to. I have a big old box of Cheez Its at home. There's a Z. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to check. But I. Apparently, according to this, it's Cheez It. Alien. Aliens. 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 Wrong. Let me do the, let me do the aliens. X-Files type stuff right here, man. You know the dude who was like all the crazy hair from? <laughs> yeah, dude. Aliens. aliens. That is the only explanation for this today. It's all we yeah. have to say. All right. Well, it looks like. We're running out of time. Yeah, we're, we're running out of time. Uh, we will have a part two on this though. We will. You 
you've got to get ready. Be, be excited for episode. <laughs> She's like dropping her stuff, bro. She's <laughs> be excited for episode two of the Conspiracy Chronicles. I'm Maya. And I'm Kyron. Um, thanks for watching. And this is 90.7 WPSR. See ya. Yes.